What's up everyone, I'm Garamoth, welcome back to Blood Bowl 2. It's time for the wrap up for week 3 of season 2 of the Dead Air Invitational Blood Bowl 2 League. Of course, as per usual, this video is going to have spoilers because we'll be talking about the matches that were played this week and talking about the results and all that stuff. So, on the screen right now there are links to the matches that were played if you want to uh, check those out. If you haven't seen them yet and you, know, you want to avoid spoilers and watch them first, you can click those, go find the matches, watch them, enjoy them, have a good time. For everyone else who's sticking around, let's go take a look at the results. Alright, week three. So, matches that were played this week. The Clone Brigades, aka the Humans, coached by Lucas, played Greg's Salty Sea Doges, aka the Dwarfs. Um, that ended up being a 1-0 victory to the Clone Brigade. That was pretty fun to see. Um... That was the first time I think someone tackled the Dwarf team correctly, so far at least in the league. Um... Lucas really exploited the dwarf speed disadvantage, and he was, in my opinion, he was the first team to really do so. Everyone else kind of tried to just play like they would against any other bashy team, at least so far. And I feel like that is obviously a mistake because the dwarf starting skills just make them so much stronger at doing that than usual. And if they don't. If, you know, if they don't have to move very far, if they're constantly just punching you and moving up slowly, like, you're just playing into their wheelhouse, where, as Lucas, he really exploited the speed gap, and I believe that game could have gone 2-0, well, but Lucas got greedy. I might be wrong about that, but that I believe that's what happened. Either way, solid victory for Lucas. First loss for Greg, I believe. Uh, second match of the week, Outlaw versus Skullpush, which is, of course, the Dark Elves versus the High Elves, which is uh, Nemo Nemo or Nick versus Dan, or some kind of wizard. Um, end up 2-1 to Dan. Uh, that was a pretty fun game. Elf versus Elf is always kind of interesting because you obviously, you, you potentially see a lot of agi plays, which can always be very exciting to watch. I'm trying to I, I'm I'm going to be honest... I don't really remember a lot of what happened in this match. I'm almost certain there was a lot of passes attempted and there was intercept. I'm pretty sure there was some intercepts and Dan did his typical high of um, throw plays. So, I mean, I think this was a pretty standard elf versus elf. But yeah, well deserved victory to Dan and I think that put him on his first win. Let me just double check that. Uh, yep. And... Where's Skullbush? Yeah, so that that's Dan's first win. Should be pretty happy about. Third match of the week is the Jungle Jumbo, which is of course the Lizardman coached by Roneth, going up against the Full Metal Munchies, which is of course Pete's uh, Chaos Team, or Titan Creed. They end up being a 1-1 draw, which... <sighs> Again, I think it was just a pretty bog-standard game. Pete hit, like, the Stinks didn't manage to get their speed advantage up. Soros has hit things. I'm pretty sure this is the, the game where Ronith kind of got screwed over by a lack of block. I mean, I don't think Pete has block either, but I think I think Ronith had some really bad dice. Like, he's getting into a thing where he keeps having to use his... He's only got two rerolls, and he keeps having to use them in the first couple of turns because of double skulls. It's happened a couple of times now, I, I think, if I remember correctly, and I think this was another classic case of it. So it ended up being a draw. And then the last match of the week is the Necrococons, which is, of course, my Orc team going up against the last Action Rats, which is Madden Skaven. Um, if you watched my video, you already kind of know my thoughts on this match. Madden, Madden well deserved that win. It was a 2-1. I came out of it with, with a bunch of SVP, which I was pretty happy about in the end. But I think I learned a lot from this matchup. Um, I feel like the Orcs are starting to click a little bit better for me. I'm still not quite there. I don't know, I'm, st I'm still having a bit of issue with the way the Orcs play. I don't know, it's it's not... You know, it's not a smooth transition for me working out how to exactly play this Orc team. So, um... But I think I'm getting there, and I think I learned a lot from this match. Uh, specifically in terms of, like, playing too defensively, playing a little bit too scared, that kind of thing. But yeah, that ended up being a 2-1 for Madden. So... Yeah. I think that puts me and Madden on equal terms. I'm not I don't I don't quite remember. I think we're both two zero one or something. Let me double check. Oh no, I've lost two, haven't I? Yeah, one zero two then. I think we're both the same at this point. He lost to Greg, and then yeah, he lost. Oh yeah, he got crushed by Ron. Yeah, so that put me in both me and Madden on one zero two as I thought. So 
um, to discuss the teams, like changes to the team, level ups, all that kind of stuff, and the uh, the schedule for next week. I will go and get some of the coaches, see who's about, and we will chat about that. So, I'll be back in a moment. What's up, everyone? I'm back with a selection of the coaches to go over the week four? Yeah, week four. Yes, week, week, four. Four week four matches. So, we have Ronith. Yay, hello. We have uh, Madden, or Uniform 764. Uh, we have Pete, or Titans Creed. Hello. And we have Lucas, or Goatfoot. Always the last one. Always. You're the new, <laughs> you're the new guy. <laughs> you're the outsider. You're the... Wow. You're the human. Banished yeah. to the frozen waste of Sweden. <laughs> yeah. Alright. Well, I'm in... So, the matches in week four. We have uh, Oloth, which is the Dark Elf teams, by, coached by Nemo Nemo, uh, going against Lucas's Humans, the co Clone Brigade. Second match is the Salty Sea Doges, which is the Dwarfs, coached by Noximus, going up against the Jungle Jumble, which is Ronit's Lizardman. Third matchup of the week is Skull Push, aka the High Elves, coached by some kind of wizard, going up against the Necro Orchicons, which is my Orc team. And fourth match of the week is the Full Metal Munchies, the Chaos Team, coached by uh, Pete or Titans Creed, going up against the Last Action Rats, aka the Skaven, coached by Uniform 764. So, uh, pretty mixed lineup this week, I think. I don't think there's going to be any standout, like, specific matches to watch. I think they could all be interesting because it's all a mix of uh, Bashy versus Running. Greg versus uh, Ronith will be interesting just because Greg will have to deal with Skinks. So many skinks. Yeah. Well, just tackle oh, pieces, so. He has Ronit, tackle, but Ronit, it's more the speed I'm worried I'm thinking about. Yeah, the Ronit, speed Ronit, is very much Ronif uh, won't have five skinks this week because he's got his crocs back and I believe another Saurus now. Yeah. Yes. Okay, <laughs> my, my entire team is back, although I'm if there was any team I would be fine with having journeyman skinks, it would probably be dwarves. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but you know, all you have to but, do is spearhead. Uh, <laughs> in theory, I believe. No, I, com no comment. I believe Brett said tactic. he was pretty worried because his one troll let's, slayer had um well, had a niggle. Let's start from the top though. So. No, I'm already looking at this matchup now. I'm looking at your team. All right, fair enough. Like Greg said, he was worried because his one troll slayer has a niggle. Yeah, which it means he's out. By the way. So yeah, like looking at, looking at Ronald's team, we have of course the double level up on the skinks. Uh, we have the dog. Let's go though. Yeah. Uh, what is that skill? Oh, sure feet. So we have sure feet and we have a movement allowance. Uh, yep. That's the only he, level ups. You got three level ups on the skinks. That's about it. There's your new guy, Block at the Moon. Uh, <laughs> block the Moon, yeah. Oh. We got Saurus. Sorry, another Saurus back. So we got uh, essentially. Oh, you yeah, have back in Block as well. We jump up. I forgot about him. Oh, let's. Yes. <laughs> so we got um, the entire team back. No one's missing. We got some level ups. My team is in good shape. The only thing I really want now is another reroll. Yeah, you on two? Makes sense. I am on two still because I spent all of it on uh, the Zars. Yeah. And so apothecary. yeah. So Greg's troll slayer's out as we mentioned. He's got a niggle, so he's missing this game and will have a niggle in previous game. Uh, not previous in in like future games. Uh, SPP wise. Am I right in thinking Greg still only has the one level up dwarf to a guy with guard? He only has one level up, yeah, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. which is Barry, Bertie the Bulls with guard. Yeah, 10 HP. Yes. I yeah. mean, is he going to get a long beard as a replacement? Because they look yes. like the standard unit. So how much do they cost? 70k, I think. So Greg's going to get 60k in inducements then? Mm, if he buys one, yeah. So I mean, uh, there's a good, there's a good chart. Well, I guess he gets a loner, isn't he? Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, he's gonna he's gonna as it stands, he's gonna get 130, but he minus 70 for the long bit, so he's gonna have 60. So Greg's uh, pretty much probably just gonna go straight for the the babe then. Yeah, probably. I don't think he's going to spend anything on the pedicat like with his actual. No, but account. he'll get he'll get 60k worth of inducements. Yeah, yeah, but I like, don't think. No, basically yeah, it's what, the babe, and I don't, and yeah. I don't, I, I don't think he is willing to. to no, no, he, of course not. No, absolutely not. Well, he, ha I mean, he, he has, will. he has three re rolls and an apothecary at the moment. So uh, yeah, yeah, he's probably just going to save up for maybe buying a new troll slayer. No, maybe I makes think sense. He, I, I think he's buying a long beard. That's what he. Right. That's what I heard him say. Well, if he was going to buy a long beard, he would have already bought it because he has seventy k. 
No, because he was thinking about it like literally a couple of hours ago. So. All oh, right, fair enough. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So I think in terms of this, I think Ronith is going to take this just based on the fact that uh, just speed, because it's not it's not just a case of speed. It's like speed combined with Saurus is being annoying to block for him, even though he does have block, which is fantastic. He does have tackle, so he is actually okay at tackling the skinks when he can catch them. It's just the when he can catch them is the issue. Yeah. Cause so far Greg's record against faster teams is so uh, going back to the not really good. Oh, well, it's okay. Like he beat Matt both his games, and they were both faster than him. No, he's <laughs> he's played three games. I was played three. Well, yeah. What's the third game? I totally he don't want any of this. He lost. Against against he lost to Lucas one 0 Nah. And that's only and thing it, the spearhead. <laughs> it was amazing. You missed an incredible match, man. And Lucas did a massive spearhead. Greg like blocked the spearhead, and then Lucas just ran around the side, and the dwarves couldn't reposition. <laughs> <laughs> it was like the oh my god, that line, that spear was definitely it was, it was like, incredible. Like, <laughs> like, it was a massive like mindfuck for the dwarves. They were like, ah oh, shit, the spear is going to penetrate our defenses. Uh, it was it was great. But I mean, if if I've noticed, if you look at all of Greg's games, they're all one 0 Yep. So I mean, the smart <laughs> thing would to call would be like, I reckon this will be one 0 <laughs> Yeah, but I, but I think it's probably gonna be more goals for me. I think I think you I think like a two 0 or something. I think, I think it's two one Ronneth. I, I reckon Ronneth will be able to I score th twice, but I think Greg will get like an eight turn touchdown grind. I don't know. Ronneth Ronneth might continue being draw king this season. Uh, that's true, but I think that I can squeeze uh, uh, two two goals in there. Yeah, I reckon. I reckon two. I I, I feel like saying one no just because every game has been one no. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, I don't know. I, I'm gonna go with one one. I think one one's a good good bet. I, I I'm gonna go with one no because every game has been one no. But my actual like, if I actually gave an intelligent uh, estimate, I think it would be two one to runneth. Fair enough. Uh, let's jump to the top of the list. So it's Dark Elves versus Humans. I'm going to take a look at the Dark Elves first, which is of course Nick's team. Always uh, last. Yeah, always <laughs> last. Well, no one's got any missing <laughs> players, so I mean, in but, uh, there is a no, oh, not isn't it? Yeah, it's minus AV. So the Blitzer, Nick has a Blitzer with minus AV. He's got so he's got his four Blitzers now, though he bought that at the end yeah, of the last game. I saw that. So, which means he's now he's got twelve players. Uh, he has dodge on a he has dodge on a alignment, block on alignment, and kick on alignment. So he's actually doing pretty good in terms of level ups. I mean, so here's little... the interesting thing. I mean, if he got rid of the blitzer with the injury, he'd be getting some inducements. Not that and it might do one anything. Lock gone though. Yeah, but I mean, it's also the niggle gone. Well, not the niggle, but the armor loss gone it's as well. Save me, which I really don't like. Say that again. It's minus AV, which I really don't yeah, like. We uh, had we had a discussion with him before, yeah. and he basically said he he agrees the minus AV is really bad. But his argument for keeping this blitzer on is because this league is so much shorter. If this was That's a double a round robin, he'd probably yeah. fire that it's blitzer. Very, yeah. It's a very fair argument. But I mean, for any Bashy team that Nick comes up against, that blitzer's got a target on its back. Definitely, but like I th I think it's just I think he's right in going like. No, no, yeah, no, I agree. Block, just I absolutely, uh, in case of this uh, very short lead. So if he dies, you know, you know, that I'm is just, I'm, all. I, all I, the only my only my only uh, brain thought with that was if he got ra if he got rid of the the injured blitzer, he could play the inducement game, like because there's only 10k to Nick in it in that matchup, and if he got rid of it, he could easily get a babe. It might make the difference. If you're we catching you, Lucas. Highest team value teams, right? Yeah, I think so. Yes, yes we are sure. Is your catch in you, Lucas? I don't remember. Uh, yes, I bought him uh, after yeah. last game. Which yeah, I think that said both of these teams doing. now have 12 players, so they've both got a spare man on the bench for the second half. Yeah, yeah. but look how much block Lucas has. Yeah, yeah it's, it's pretty sick. Block. It's pretty sick. Actually, it's the That's same as you've got Guard on the Ogre as well, because that leveled up this week, didn't it? Yeah, Guard on the Ogre. No, last week. Last, last week. week. Kick and jump up. Barbarian, of course, with the jump up. He's had that for a while now. That line ah, I'm so sad I didn't level that other game. Because yeah. <laughs> there was a skill I really wanted for this game. What, for the Blitzer? Yeah, on Barbarian. I mean, the fact that Waxer now hasn't leveled in two games since his kill fest is disappointing. We all <laughs> know that he's he actually has. done surprisingly little. He was a god in the first game, and that's it. Yeah. And he has a bit with vanity passes. He had the chance to actually make a 2 0 at the end of the last game, but he failed to catch the ball. 
Well, the, you, you know that he's not made to handle the ball. He's made to punch me. <laughs> I tried to level him, okay? <laughs> well, you're leveling him in the wrong way. He refused. <laughs> the annoying thing is that Wyvern has taken two uh, MVPs from me, though. Yeah, that sucks when they stack on a lineman. Yeah. I mean, it sucks when they stack on anyone. No, that's not true. If it stacks on like um, one of your key players, that's fine. I will take like I'd, I'd ten SPP with, uh, for free with, on a, with a war dancer stacking MVPs. <laughs> yeah, but I had like four blitzers all sitting on like four and five SPP, and the same blocker got four of the MVPs, five of the MVPs. <laughs> yeah, he, he got did. like twenty-five SPP from MVPs <laughs> alone. I was that like, that is a blocker though. I would like, take. I would take that. Tony blocker. I would take that personally. Yeah, yeah. There's still two levels on it. Oh. Anyway, uh, in terms of score, I think. I'm gonna be honest. I think Lucas has this pretty handily. I think it'll be the game to watch. <laughs> it'll be a very fun game to watch. Yeah. Uh, I have a pretty good win rate with the humans. I, yeah. Off, so. uh, the humans are looking really strong. Nick has struggled a bit in his games as well. That's more tactical struggle, though. I would yeah, say. I know. That's what I mean. I, I'm not meaning it in like a shit talk here. I'm just saying like Nick has. I've noticed Nick has struggled a bit. Lucas is very confident and makes usually good plays unless he decides to go full greed. <laughs> so it's like I I, I I feel this this game is definitely weighted towards Lucas in something like a two two nil. I think is possible. I reckon two one probably. I reckon two nil. I just feel I feel like if Lucas gets in uh, like a good grip on the game and gets like two touchdowns. I don't feel Nick will ha be able to come back. But there's always the chance of me. Uh, if you, of I, I, just, I just announced Nuffles, so. <laughs> That's true, you did do that in the last match. 2 0 to the Dark Elves. Uh, 10 0 to the Dark Elves. 10 0. God, that would be 30 SPP. Is that even possible? Yeah, of course it is. In theory, but in theory you can 16 0 someone. Well, yeah, but if you have to take two turns at a time, then uh... no, he doesn't. He gets um, he he starts. He has a starting drive or something, but it requires him after he scores the first one that he gets a blitz on every drive. No, you can but still do it if you can. As long as you can one turn touchdown, all you'd have to do in theory was n either knock over the ball carrier or um, pick the ball up. And also, you don't get it's blitzes not... when you drive. <sighs> You get, you get yeah, but this is after. That's why I said after his first drive. All oh, right, right, right. Anyway, that's that's irrelevant. That's that's nothing to do with anything. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so third game of the week is Skull Push versus Necroarchons, which of course Els versus Orcs. Uh, uh, look at that petty cash, dude. <laughs> uh, what is what is? Do I get it? It's twelve. <laughs> it's twelve ten to. Yeah, 10 I'm, miss, I'm missing a player, so I'm probably getting about a hundred. How much is the value of that player? To Linock. So, seventy. Yeah, I have seventy k on me, so I might buy a Linock. Can I buy a Linock it's like, since we're on this right now? Ah, uh, you could buy a mercenary troll. Could I could? <laughs> uh, Lineman is fifty k. Fifty k. So even if you've got that. You'd still have a hundred and thirty in inducements. That's pretty good. Yeah, I think I'm, I'm gonna get a wizard. <laughs> uh, our wizards, yeah, our wizards are one hundred fifty k, right? Yeah, I can yeah. put twenty in of my own. He basically buys a line orc, and well, he doesn't even have to buy the line orc until post match, I guess. At this point, mm -hmm. I'm, I'll probably just I probably just won't buy the line orc, and then yeah. buy the if he gets good stuff and I'll buy him in after the game. Yeah, that's probably a better thing to do. Uh, because if he doesn't get anything, he can still be in the match, get punched up, you don't spend any money on him, and then he could get money over for, like, something else. Like a thrower. I just need, in this game, for my SPP to actually start leveling me. I mean, I got uh, a good chunk a, against Matt. A level up would be nice. Yeah. So the high elves were looking at uh, two blitzers. One has blitz and dodge, so here's the blodge going... The thrower has show hands now, so Dan will actually, in theory, pick the ball up. Uh, dodge on a lineman, and that's an. I think the catcher's new. Yeah, the catcher's new. Yeah. The catcher's new, yeah. Because he's on 12. Staff wise, he's on 3 reels in an epoch theory, of course. Uh, that's a very fast high elf, the catcher. Yeah. Yeah, the catcher is awesome. 
catch is pretty good. Pretty good. S but I, I do think that Sure Hands was a mistake on the throw. Why? <laughs> Agility 4. What? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, he, Lucas is it's not... It's just my opinion. Yeah, no, I, I, I kind of agree with Lucas. I'm pretty sure I played... I in, totally agree. In, in the, in the, I'm pretty sure I played the entire first season without Sure Hands on my elves. I mean, I would. Yeah, I mean, like, like with elves, like you can afford to use a team reroll on it because it's normally a two plus. Whereas, like anything that's a three plus, you probably do want the uh, the free reroll. Yeah, but if you take like accurate or something, you can make really good passes. Mm -hmm. That's what I said to him, and then he was like, "Sure, hands. That's that's a good ability." Sure, sure. The only the only uh, the, the argument I would Shout have to, to Dan. The the argument I would have for sure hands is on an actual ball carrier who is going to run with the ball because then you count the stuff like strip ball. Yeah. Like that's that's the the argument I have for sure hands, but it's on yeah. his thrower, which means that's not like like if I, I put that on like a ball carrying blitzer. Not a exactly. thrower. Yeah. That that's where you want to have sure hands if you're worried about strip ball. Yep. But uh in terms of this game, I think the movement difference is a lot closer this time um compared to like playing into the Skaven. So I move. Could have, I could have seen some value in dump off actually. Dump off is in theory dump off on the thrower. I would rather take accurate. Yeah, I would rather take accurate. I think. Yeah, yeah, definitely. But like dump off is still an option. Oh no, nerves of steel would also be really good considering that the pa considering yeah, the yeah. considering the passes Dan does. Nerves of steel would be really <laughs> strong. Yeah, that's true. He does do that some crazy really passes. So, yeah, um, steel will be very, very good. Together with safe throw, it's kind yeah. Nerves of steel safe throw is is a sick combination. Yeah. Um, also, hail mary and diving catch. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, but that's, he is actually yeah. looking to pass on to people. Instead of just oh, that's why. Yeah, but that's why diving catch is so good. Yeah, because it but, can land. It can land next yeah, to yeah, the. But, like, you know. yeah, I, it's I really weird that like, di like, it's really weird that diving catch doesn't put you on the floor. Yeah, it's interesting. Because <laughs> diving yeah. tackle does. <laughs> well, but uh, with the Hail Mary and diving catch, you can literally throw the ball over the entire field. Yes, you can. Score. Uh, in terms of the <laughs> in theory, what was Dan's result last week? Two one to Nick, Two. and then he lost one nil to Greg and one. Uh, Two one to Pete. I mean, I'm speed-wise, I'm a lot less worried because my or my blitzes are as fast as his elves for the most part. They're six. They're both six. My black Oaks aren't quite as slow. Like they can, they'll find it a little bit easier to catch up. So I can. I don't know. I mean, if it if it, if everything's going as it will do, someone will die in turn one on my team. Okay. <laughs> Make sure it's the journeyman. Yeah, but um, I think that the biggest weakness when uh, that orcs have against uh, like fast teams, uh, like elves and stuff like that, is is the fact that black orcs. Uh, sure, they're slow and <clears throat> they're like slow and whatever. But the most annoying thing with black orcs is that the elves can just dodge out. <laughs> like I mean, that's you have for to get else. into tackle zones, and you know that they can just dodge out, but you still have to do it because you know dodges are still rolls. Yeah, the biggest weakness you will have in this match is positioning. Yeah. yeah. That's why I had the Blackhawks back in against Madden, because it's just easier positioning. Like, if you noticed in that game, there wasn't. It was very rare that my Blackhawks were entirely out of range of getting where they needed to go. Yeah. <laughs> but they didn't punch a lot, though, so. No, but that's because you only get one blitz. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. I don't know. I reckon. I like you, Josh, but I reckon you're gonna get two nailed. Uh, I I think that's reasonable, to be honest. I, I feel maybe. that's fair. I'm I'm hoping for the orcs to you know make a little bit more uh, touchdowns, but then again, this is Dan on high elves. Maybe he'll uh... just fuck up and I'll pick the ball up. That'd be nice. <laughs> maybe you'll have your you first intercept. intercept. <laughs> yeah, intercept <laughs> on safe ball, <laughs> safe throw. And I can see the same. Yeah, I, 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 I think uh, losing 2-0 or 2-1 is actually fairly reasonable or accurate at this match, to be honest. I just want I just, I just just want to feel better about my roles. You need to wreck this line. 
injured people or chaos people. If, yeah, if you could start rolling pals and uh, injuries to go with it, then, uh, you know... I just no want to take some level ups. If I can get yeah. some level ups out of this game going into the next couple of weeks, I I think I'll be all right. You do have a very good SP SPP spread right now, so hopefully you'll level from that up. one game. Yeah, if from I can just one game. SPP wise, if I can have another game like that, I'd be in a good position, I think, and then I can approach the next weeks as they come. But yeah, I think two nil to one is reasonable. Uh, last matchup of the week is Chaos Skaven. So let's go have a look at the Chaos team. I've got a Chaos Warrior. No level ups, just uh, an extra Chaos Warrior for next week. See you up to your max strength. You've got the team. You've got the team. I've so. got the team. You have the movement uh, 7 piece which is reasonable. Is mm -hmm. that the only level you got? Yep. He's missing one beastman. It's pretty bad. Yeah, it, it got broken, so I fired it and got a Chaos Warrior. Yeah, oh, okay, fine. What did you call it? Oh, Lincoln Pork Sausage. Nice. Lincoln <laughs> Pork Sausage. Um, what a... I'm going up against the Sky Van. The, the annoying thing here is I'm, I'm going to be missing a gutter runner, and it's the leveled gutter runner with block. Yep. You're welcome, Pete. So both Thank of you guys you. are going to have one journeyman. But you do have a 4 edgy, uh, You do have a 4 oh. edgy uh, Storm Viper, which is pretty good. Yeah. It's pretty sick. Oh, yeah, good. Yeah, it's not as fast, good. but he still has the agility to make some I'm crazy just, plays. I'm just going to hope that I can hopefully break a fair bit of armor. Yeah, that was my hope, too. Yeah, I know. I couldn't do it with Orcs. I'm not really doing it with Chaos at the moment, so we'll see. I need my mind in to start doing some work, though. That's what I need. At least you have horns. <laughs> I'd like to see a 2-1. To who? Me, obviously. Ugh. So rude. I don't think I can stop you scoring, but hopefully I can score in my drive and also gutter snipe something. Gutter snipe something. Lovely. Ugh. Um. Well, I mean, I. This What's could, the cash difference? Slaughter, I think. I, th I think chaos is going to slaughter. slaughter I rent. don't because. <laughs> That's what you you don't because of what happened this week. I don't like, no. I do, I just don't because you're trying to do what I did, but you have even less skills than I did. I thought you were just talking about skill in general for a second. No, 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 just skill. <laughs> no, 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 like actual skills. Like I have four blitzers. You don't have any block on your team. Yeah, I know. That's pretty. It's pretty bad. It's like I have four block and four strength uh, fours. And, like, yeah. There's not a lot you can do sometimes. Also, why kick on the thrower? Out of interest. I think oh, just because he's, he's normally towards the back, so I just tend to stick kick on him. Yeah, but it's a thrower. They are important pieces. At least that's what I think. But... I mean, like, I, I would agree. Safe thrower accurate would have been really good. It's just a habit I've got into. I tend to like just have one thrower, and he is my kicker slash thrower. Now uh, you see, all he's trying to do is he's going to get kick off return on the thrower. <laughs> but you you don't need to kick to do that. It was mostly a case of I really wanted kick, and I couldn't take it on the rat ogre, and I wasn't burning it on the storm vermin. Who <laughs> got an agi? <sighs> and like none of the line rats in the leveling, apart from the one who got an MVP. <laughs> so like, if if you know if, the, if one of the line rats had leveled, I would have put it there. Or if there'd been a bit of SPP spread on them, I would have put it there. Well, but... At least at least I know what you're gonna uh, like. If you're gonna go for a vanity pass, I know which line rat you're gonna do it with. Hmm. Yeah. So if I break it first, <laughs> you can call. You can try and find a name for someone to call line rat three. <laughs> I'm sad because you can't have line three, line rat three, line hard with a vengeance. It's line fit. hardest. Yeah, that's a little bit too long. <laughs> and line rat four, line rat or die hard. <laughs> should it be line, line, line three or die no, hard? Should, should it be line like line rat four, line rat or line hard? Line hardest. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, because the thing still is, live free or die hard. Like a very long name. Yeah, yeah it so it should be live free or line hard. Yeah, live free or line hard. You can put that guy on the scrimmage line every single game. 
Uh, I think coming. that in this match, I definitely think that Manning can uh, get some scores in with the gutter runners, but... Uh... Or the storm man. Yeah. yeah. But uh... the thing is, I think he's really good at rushing down his people. Yeah, more than... So, so uh, good. <laughs> I don't know. I don't, don't, I don't think that's true. I don't think that's any more true than anyone else. Uh, well, it's be it's mostly because of Blitz, and uh, Beastmen have like uh, yeah. You can get a surprise. Two, you can get a surprise two block, but it's one surprise two block, and I yeah. But, but it's combined with the fact that they have six movement, which is pretty good. <laughs> yeah, but so do, can... but so do orcs, and so do humans. Uh, only that's only. I just realised that everything on my team, apart from the Rat Ogre, is faster than you. Yeah, that's, like. That's funny. Like I knew the gutter rats. I the don't were, think. I thought the line rats were on par. I don't agree that chaos is better. It is good at rushing people down. They're not terrible at it, but they're not good at it. They just have horns, which is good, but I'd say that's. that's You're underestimating good. horns. Yours. I'm not <laughs> underestimating horns. I'm just <laughs> saying that horns on its own, it doesn't equal. That means they're really good at rushing people down. And saying that that means they can they can do it and they can get surprised two dices, but. If that ball carrier is walking around with like a block or something, that like two dice is, you know, it's two dice with no skills. And on an average speed piece, it's, I yep. don't consider that good at rushing people down. Well, I do. Let's go. I think it's going to be interesting. Madden and I have a fun <laughs> game. I'm yeah, just to... I mean, there's uh... no there's no inducements to worry about. No, actually, in fact, how much is a line rat cost you? 50? 70k? It's not 70, it's like 50. Even still, I'm already at a 10, uh, 20, uh, 10 deficit. If it costs him 50, which he's going to get anyway, I'm going to get a babe. Yeah, it's 50. So I'm going to get a babe, regardless. Are you? Yep, because I'm 10 behind him already, and he'll get an extra 50 for the missing line rat. But you're also getting a journeyman. Yeah. Am I? Yeah, you're yeah. 10, you have 10, 10 players. players. One, two, three, four, five. Well, oh, bollocks. <laughs> <laughs> and yours, yours are more expensive. Yeah. So you actually might give him 10k inducements, I think. <laughs> <laughs> or so, maybe uh, an equal. I don't remember how much beastmen are. Are they 60? 70? I think there's 60. That would, in theory, that means that, that you guys would be the same. Me. Give me a second. A beastman is 60k. And in theory, you guys should end up with the same team. Like, in theory. <laughs> Well, it's pretty even. Okay. Uh, so leaderboard wise, let's take a look at the leaderboards. So there is just a massive deadlock. Uh, you've got in first place, you've got you've got uh, Lucas with the human team at two one zero. Second place is the dwarfs two zero one. Third place Lizardman one two zero. Fourth place Chaos one one one, and then just a block of one zero two. Just the Skaven Orcs, High Elves, and Dark Elves. Mm. There's, an, there's an unusual amount of draws. Mm. Well, actually, no. There's only two draws, right? Yeah. You have both of them. Yeah, oh, yeah. You, you have both. And uh, you say you say there's an unusual amount of draws. We had we had a fair amount of draws. There was at least four to five draws, I think, last yeah, yeah, season. Yeah, yeah. Those three. No, and you, it, it those three, like and you had all of them. Here. Yeah, it just looked like many here, but then I actually <laughs> thought about it for a second. I was like, hey, that's only two draws, actually. Yeah. And I have both of them. The, the, the thing, so in terms of positioning, so long as Lucas keeps winning, no one can catch him. Yeah. Because he constantly no, has... No, obviously. <laughs> well, no, 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 but, but I'm saying, like, it's, it's just because of the draw. It's not, like, if, if, if Lucas was also 2-0-1, then Greg could catch him. Or he's keep, keep drawn. True. But because of, the, because of the two wins and the draw, if Lucas keeps winning, like, no one can take first shot off him. I'd be quite happy if yeah. someone beat Greg because I would like to see him. But that would be, that that would come to the exact same point that we had tomorrow. last season. Like, didn't Ronif pretty much walk away with first place? No, I took first. Uh, he oh, took first. Okay. Sorry, I, 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 I um I was first for quite a while. You, but yeah, you were first for like out of like how many how many weeks did you play? Twelve. You played like twelve weeks, didn't we? And like you were first ten for like weeks. was it ten weeks? Okay, you were first for like eight of them, and then like I took it in like the last two or something. Yeah, something like that. Uh, and I got crushed. I mean, I'm playing. Da so in t I'm just looking at the block at the end because, like, the m this top bit is like pretty stationary. But I think this bottom bit. So I'm I'm playing Dan, which means me and Dan are going to move like somewhere. 
one of us is going down, one of us is going up, 100% guaranteed. Um, In before draw. Oh, that's true, yeah, I guess draw would do it. But yeah, the likelihood, fine, the likelihood is one of us is going up and one is going down. Um, Madden, you're playing Pete, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's a pretty key game. Yeah. If I can go to 2 2 I think I've got a decent chance. Or even 1-1-2, one, one, I think I've got a reasonable chance of making the playoffs. Yeah. He's playing Nick again. He's playing against Olaf. Or is it Lucas? Uh, yeah, uh, That's too. first place against 8th place, so that literally only matters for Nick. Well, no, I guess it does matter for you, but like, you don't... Well, it does matter. For it it, it does matter, but it's if he, if he doesn't win, we can someone else can still take. For yeah, it's just um, one. it's it's just it's first against eighth. So I think the the <laughs> win matters way more for Nick than it does for Lucas in theory. Yeah, well, technically it's, it's still it's still, but because of the shortness of the league, it, the win is actually a bit really big deal. Um, yeah. Uh, and then Lizardman versus Dwarves basically decides... Yeah, Lizardman versus Dwarves decides second place. Yep. I really want to win that one. Because <laughs> if I do, uh, that means I won't have such a terrible time. It's a, pretty heavy it's a pretty heavy securing of at least second place with 2 Yeah. Two. Kill him! <laughs> I will try. <laughs> well, actually, no. I will not try to kill him. I will just try to run past him. To be fair, he'll have it easier when he doesn't have his straw trailer. That's true. Uh, that is very true. I'm but, very uh, sad. I gave yeah, him I'm a still, chance. I'm still afraid of his blocks. It's <laughs> so a team of only blocks, and uh, you know, I have no, none of those. Nope. All right. Any last words for anyone before we wrap up? Then you going down, bitch. God, that's distorted. <laughs> <laughs> That was that uh, was Pete doing an impression of the organ on. <laughs> yeah. Oh God. That's um, true. Yeah. So yeah, thanks so much for watching the wrap up, guys. Uh, week four should be interesting. Well, technically, well, because seven weeks is like three point five. So yeah, by the end of week four, we'll be over halfway through the round robin. So we'll start to potentially start talking about uh, playoff matchups and stuff like that. Uh, of course, it's top four that go through. Uh, everything else just, yeah, just gets cut. We're just doing, keep, keeping it nice and simple. So uh, we will catch you guys in the games. Bye. 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 Bye.